senses range within and without. So said William Shakespeare. He didn't add that many versions to carry. But friends, to hear a sonnet of Shakespeare and to feel the fury of emotion is a complete different. In my life, a moment came when I was in the middle of emotion. That was where my spiritual teacher, Dr. Music, made an announcement. Today we inaugurate, we are meditator, the magazine, and sort of the taken forward. So far, the ocean was calm, but suddenly the whole pendulum changed. Have you ever in your life imagined seeing a wave as small as a building? Imagine that the multi-story building you've seen, and imagine that it comes up in front of you and it topples over all towards you as you slide not knowing whether you will survive or be washed under that wall of water. Fortunately, I survived. But there was one thing I knew, that the challenge I was taking on was beyond anything I had faced before. I still remember when I started working on this magazine, it was 4 a.m. Just like the sun rays come here, I was sitting on my table. And I could see my shadow with me leaning on top of the table, working on what was to be the movement of this magazine. But the only thing I saw was the shadow, because nothing came through. The task was too big for me, and I became dejected and demoralized. It happens in most dreamers. We dream big dreams, and when we are faced with the work, we become lost. And that is what happened with me. When I remember the story that my father had told me, more than 2,000 years ago, there was a man called Chanakya who had been insulted by a king and so he swore that I am going to break down the Donald Trump of 2,000 years ago. That was the king of Pachiputra. And over the years he built an army and said, I am going to break into this kingdom, the capital of which is Pachiputra. So he took his army and he went dashing into Pachiputra. I'm going to break you. I'm going to take the thing out. But this kingdom is completely unknown. The only thing that happened was that Chanakya and his prodigy Chandrabhut, they lost their entire army, all their resources, and Chanakya became the laughing stock. Ha ha ha. This man was trying to bring down the mother empire. And one day, in his election, when he was born, he heard a grandmother holding a child. There was a heart. And Chanakya is passing by the car. Then you hear the sound from inside. The grandmother is holding the grandchild saying, Burak! Chanakya is standing at that. Because he's quite a cat. He might have lost the battle, but he's one of the sages of his times. And so he's curious. Let me see what happens. And he goes into the car and very humbly, he asks the grandmother, why he's holding this time? It turns out that the child is eating a hot porridge or food, and he had put his hand right in the center where it's the hottest, and he got the cigarettes. And the grandmother was saying that when you attack problems, you don't try to go straight into the center. You're going to burn yourself. You attack it from the side. In modern day parlance, you take it out. So Chandrakya says, okay, there's something here. And he regroups his roots, and instead of attacking Pasi, right in the center, he tries to capture the kingdoms around him. He the vulnerability. Maybe there's something to <coughs> Maybe there's the weakness over here. And we'll win something. Maybe we'll find that big vulnerability that is going to open and unravel the whole thing. And from that inspiration, I realized that this is what I can do. Maybe I can't create the greater website for my dreams, but I can take that one step. Even if it's very humble, if it's as small as this little notebook. What if it's even smaller than this little notebook? It's just a little circle. If we take the first step, this little circle, from which maybe we can put two legs under the circle. And if we can put two legs under the circle, maybe. We can put a head on top and two hands and make it 
This is the creation of stories. This is the process of creation. So that is exactly what I did. One step at a time, I, I worked towards my goal. I want to show you this is a real uh, thing where I track the steps I've taken. On this, you'll find a number 35,500 steps. Small little steps that I took. And I recruited people who were aligned with me. And together, more and more, we took these steps. And every time we took a step, we made one more little mark over here. And soon, uh, we had something very, very real. This is not a story I'm making up. I want to show you that by the time we're taking 50,000, 100,000 steps, we were able to unravel a part of our problem. We're not the greatest website on Earth today, but our rank of Alexa went up 6 million times. That is different than we were the 100 million most popular rank uh, website in the world, and today we are the 87 million. But from that, there came small little pictures, and this is a real book created exactly this process. I want to show you, first we just created one little image of a girl meditating. And then we created one little thought of what the girl might be thinking. It might look as though that's all there is to this page. But with my hand, like a sculptor, I have made this circle round and thick. And this page alone has 30 or 40,000 changes made to it. But as I broke it down, one by one by one, the whole picture emerged, and we created India's first book exclusively for meditation. Uh, we are still not the great popular website yet, but we created the steps that we thought we could. So many times in our lives, ladies and gentlemen, we will have. Great